It's been the heart and soul of Miami before Miami was even a place. It's been here from the earliest settlers along the banks of the Miami River and adjacent to what is now Biscayne Boulevard. To Dodge and even Loomis Islands, which were created from the bottom of Biscayne Bay as it evolved. It's been here as a source of trade and commerce, for transportation, for leisure travel, connecting Miami to the rest of the world. Today, it is Port Miami, the world's busiest cruise port and a growing cargo hub linking the Americas and beyond. And now, Master Plan 2035, the blueprint that will take Port Miami to a new level, building on its past success to become an even more powerful player on a global scale. Port Miami, a port of the future, is poised to emerge as one of the most competitive ports on the East Coast supporting thousands of jobs that contribute so mightily to South Florida's economy, maintaining a balance that has kept tourism, transportation, trade, and commerce its focus for more than a century. The port, along with its federal, state, and private sector partners, is investing heavily in infrastructure improvements to ensure future competitiveness. That will allow Miami to grow as an international logistics center. A cornerstone of this strategy is the deepening of its channels to accommodate the new generation of supersized cargo ships. The master plan calls for a new intermodal strategy. In partnership with Florida East Coast Railway, on-port rail freight is being restored with links to the national railway system. Cargo will now flow to the rest of the nation with ease and efficiency. Port Miami will become the port of entry to move goods, and importantly, at very competitive rates. Port Miami also moves people, more than four million cruise passengers each year. No surprise that modern day cruising was invented at Port Miami a half a century ago. Today, as the cruise capital of the world, millions of pleasure seekers each year pass through the port's terminals on their way to vacations in the Caribbean, Bahamas, Mexico, and beyond. But as the industry continues to evolve, port facilities must grow and adapt. Ships are getting bigger. Cruise lines are expanding, striving to deliver a diverse product for every budget and taste. To remain an industry leader, the port must have modern and technologically advanced facilities. It must be convenient and customer friendly. On the drawing board, a new mega complex that will revolutionize cruise terminal design and usage. Industry forecasts are for continued growth. And the new super terminal incorporates innovations that will keep even larger number of passengers moving from dockside to shipside with greater ease and efficiency. The port is self-supporting and it will continue to rely on its own revenues to pay for operations and future improvements. In an ever-changing and fiercely competitive marketplace, port officials must look to new and diversified revenue sources. Just like any other business, reinvestment is key to remaining competitive and growing the customer base. The source of this funding lies right here, in the port's unbeatable location adjacent to a vibrant downtown Miami. The now underutilized southwest corner offers many opportunities for future marine related activities that complement South Florida's urban core. While specific usages are yet to be determined, there are many possibilities. The goal is to integrate the port more fully into the world-class city that surrounds it new development will be targeted and tied to the maritime industry, all helping the port take full advantage of its location and at the same time providing much needed monies to be reinvested in port improvements. As a good neighbor, the port recognizes the important role it plays in the community, specifically transportation related. The new port tunnel now under construction will not only improve access to the port, but will help alleviate downtown traffic congestion Introducing Miami's Port Central, as envisioned by the master plan. 
It includes an intermodal center for taxis, buses, rental cars, and other transportation modes, along with possible mass transit links in the future. Siemens Park, a centrally located service center for crews and visitors, will be redesigned and expanded as a centerpiece of the new port landscape. Key to the master planning process, recognition of the port's role as responsible steward of Biscayne Bay and all the surrounding environment. Protecting natural resources for future generations is a major component in how the port will grow. The master plan calls for keeping future development within the port's current footprint, doing more in the same space. To reach true sustainability, safeguards will be put into place. Monitoring and reducing the impact on air and water quality, marine life, and energy resources are key. Port Miami is indeed a port of the future, expanding to maximize its current assets and strengthening its position for future growth, but always environmentally sensitive. Master Plan 2035 is an ambitious plan an investment for a financially stable port. One that will remain a powerful economic engine and continue creating new, well-paying jobs and wealth in the community. Welcome to Port Miami. Welcome to the Port of the Future.